In news from Sri Lanka, Sri Lanka's central bank governor has said that the island nation has avoided a crash landing of its economy by applying macroeconomic measures. Speaking during a post-budget discussion, he also emphasized the need of implementing the 2023 budget proposals to increase crucial foreign exchange. Sri Lanka's Central Bank Governor Nandalal Virasinghe has said that the island nation has avoided a crash landing of its economy, making it a soft landing by applying macroeconomic measures. Vira Singhe, speaking at a news conference on Tuesday, emphasized the need of implementing the 2023 budget proposals and fiscal and monetary reform measures to increase crucial foreign exchange inflows and avert the reoccurrence of the crisis. Treasury Secretary K. M. Mahinda Srivardhana also said the country is facing a challenge to stabilize the economy and the private sector has a vital role to play. This is where Dr. Sakhar was important that we are asking our creditors to share part of the pain. But it's not fair that we are asking them to pay, you know, share the pain on behalf of us. We also have to show that we also share part of the pain. President Ranil Vikramasinghe, unveiling the annual budget on Monday, said that the Sri Lankan economy can turn around by the end of 2023 if budget policies are followed. The government, among other targets, aim to reduce debt to less than 100% of the GDP, reach annual growth of 3 billion US dollars from new exports over the next 10 years. The new reforms and debt restructuring are the preconditions for disbursement of an IMF bailout worth $2.9 billion to tackle soaring inflation, a weakening currency and low foreign exchange reserves.